What do you do with your time at tryouts? What are you actually trying to accomplish and what are you doing with that time? The big one that I think I realized way too late in my coaching career is that your goal is to gather as much data as possible as quickly as you can in order to make good decisions. And you know, there's, there, I, I've always waffled back and forth about like, how can I get the best data about players? Do I need to do individual drills that show me a specific skill? Or should I be playing more? And how do I watch everything? What do I watch for? And what's the balance between that and how much I should be coaching? Or uh, should I just be watching and evaluating the whole time? And I've learned a lot, um, especially over the past few seasons, about what's not worth my time. And I've basically started doing way less of that stuff. And I'm going to share uh, some of the quick tips that I have uh, that I've learned that can hopefully help you um, use your time wisely at tryouts. The biggest thing that I think is very important is you've got to play more at your tryouts, okay? When you watch people play or when you have people actually play, and it doesn't have to be seven on seven, you're getting so much data all at once. And that's what you really want. You want to be able to observe as much as you can about people um, and how they play, how they fit in, what they need, what they don't have. And playing ultimate is just how you're going to see the most. The other end of the spectrum is doing you know, specific individual drills where someone is only practicing one specific skill. Now, it's true that we want to get a sense for what people's individual skill set is. But what I've found is that when I do drills that only have one or two players moving at a time, I'm only getting a snapshot of that skill. What I really want is the, the big picture understanding of what players have and don't have in terms of situations, right? I would rather see them in a situation where they have to make a decision and execute a throw with lots of people moving then see if they can do this one specific break mark in this one situation. I'm more likely to get lots of information when I see that person with the disc in a game than just watching them in a drill. I'm watching, I'm gonna be able to see where they're looking when they have the disc. I'm gonna be able to see what they're doing to the mark in terms of manipulating the mark. Can they step out? Do they see cuts that are open? Do they decide to make the right decision? And all of that comes a lot more when we are actually playing. And again, it doesn't have to be seven on seven. I do a lot of five on five, four on four, and three on three at my tryouts. So big picture, get them playing more. It's the same with the other skills that are really important. You know, just defense. As, as a big picture concept, you can see so much when you have a person playing in a three on three or four on four situation because when you play three on three, there's nowhere to hide. No matter who you're guarding, you're going to have to show your ability to put yourself in a position to stop someone from getting open. And that's a big that's a big skill is how well can you stop someone from getting open? It's going to show how good you are at positioning, it's going to show your footwork, it's going to show your anticipation and and that's the type of thing we want to be evaluating. And we want to do it as much as we can, kind of as fast as we can, and we want to be doing it with lots of players at the same time. And you have to get really good as a coach about knowing what you're looking for and not focusing in on too many specifics and being able to take it all in at, at, at the same time. Okay, so big takeaway, play more at your tryouts, okay? The tryouts that I just ran for the team I coach, it was, here was our schedule. It was, we bring it in for a huddle, we do our body warm up, we do one drill just to get everyone moving and feeling like they're playing ultimate a little bit, you know, and just a basic go to drill can be good for that. But immediately after that, we got into three on three and four on four to get people playing and start gathering that data. So that's the big key. Gotta play more at your tryouts. 